Hello guys, how are you? What we will discuss today is all about twin power generator. Mean like twin brothers. This is one of the twin generators that are working together. Here is the data for unit 1 and it's operating at 480 volt, 60 hertz. And this is the data for unit 2. It's operating on 480 volt, 60 hertz. You can see here. This is one of the machine, two generators fixed here together, this is 2N power atlascope co and its total capacity is 1100 kVA and the two generators are together, we will see here in detail. This is their touch system from where you can monitor also and you can control also. If you see inside of this one container, this is one of the machine and this one is second machine. You can see here, two machines are operating together. They can operate individually as well as they can operate in synchronization mode. Already machines are built in together with synchronous mode you no need to do anything just touch and machine will start working inside containers everything is just plug and play and very easily to operate and monitors here you can see two machines have individual controller here this is the unit for one and this is the for unit two and after that output of these two controllers are going to HDMI that's display touchscreen system that you sh this one you can see both these controllers are connected here and uh, we are operating from this touchscreen this is one of the overview of the touchscreen in this case you can see two generators they are working in semi-auto mode here you can see semi-auto mode and this one green mean unit is started and it's building 480 volt 60 hertz and same about second unit unit 2 480 volt 60 hertz but their breaker are still off because they are not in auto mode we have to operate them manually here in this picture as you can see both breakers are off to on to and they are delivering power here in this touch screen you have option just you want to use these two machine as a split mean individual or you want to use them as two in brother if you will press this one they will operate as two in machine here you can see in detail how easily you can change how easily you can operate this is the for unit one and this data is for unit two there are many options here, mean 380 volt 50 hertz, 400 volt 50 hertz, 220 volt 60 hertz, 380 volt 60 hertz, 400 volt 60 hertz, 440 volt 60 hertz and configurable. If you want something else, you can configure yourself. In this case, I configure them for 480 volt 60 hertz. This is the setting at this time for unit 1 and same is for the unit 2. Here you can see if they are in twin mode uh, and uh, you can see here you can start them as a fuel saving mode, power start mode, redundancy and you have all of these options available just touch and all setting will go to that. How easily it is to change everything. Here if you can see here you have option 220 volt, 380 volt, 400 volt. For your information if machine is operating on 220 volt and you want to change it to 380 volt or 400, 440 you have to change configuration alternator vending configuration. For this one 380, 400, 440 and even 480 there is same configuration we called it 
start configuration for 220 machines is connected in parallel so when we will change all settings from here from display we have to change terminal connections as well and how easily you can change i will show you here this is the one of the terminal box of alternator that i have opened uh, and uh, this is the wire connection this one is the neutral you can see here and this one line one line two and line three connected here one two and three when you remove this wire this uh, cable power cable inside you can see here this was the line one line two and line three here it was neutral if you know basics one two and three these are the line one two and three and uh, 10 11 and 12 these are used as neutral so this winding is already connected in parallel star parallel star means this is connected for 220 volt now if i want to change to 380 volt or 400 volt or above i have to change connections from here and how it's easily to change connection you will see here because everything is here just plug and play ready to use here one and seven are connected in parallel and two and eight are connected in parallel three and nine are connected in parallel when i will change to star series star to make them 380 volt or 400 volt you will see how it's easily i will just change this bus bar from here to here and it will be everything will be okay now after changing what i did this bus bar before it was connected here i take it out and i fixed it four and seven this is the one winding that are connected in series there is an other video especially for this one and five and eight connected in series six and nine connected in series these are same bus bar before here are two bus bar before one was here one and seven and second bus bar was here i removed all of these two and i fixed back together two bus bars here now what i will do i will take out line one from here line two and line three and neutral from here if you see here since is uh, sensing power for avr there is no separate connection they are already permanently built in with 7, 8 so you no need to change any connections in AVR actually this is one of the WAG alternator for WAG alternator they make a permanent setting for AVR connection so they fix it they make a welding with 7 and 8 so you no need to change any connection in WAG alternator for AVR and next step I just connect back here neutral and line 1, line 2 and line 3. Now it means my machine is ready for 380 volt, 400 volt and uh, 480 volt. This was the terminal cover that I open and after that I have access for winding to change options. Here this is one of the AVR. These are the output breakers for these two generators. You can see here one and two here they are not connected together they are neutral is together it means you can use them as a separate machine and you can use them as a synchronization and as a parallel as a twin you can use here one machine on 220 volt and second machine on 480 volt it's up to you if you will see here there are options twin or split and now I am starting machine you will see here but it's now in auto mode and machines are working as a twin yes I give a command for one machine and both are started because they are working in twin mode as per setting one machine start delivering power to bus bar and second machine is ready to take up also now machines are going to cool down 
but it will take a time so I change to semi auto mode fast just to go to semi then again by fast to go on to there you can see how easy the air has to operate machine this is fuel saving power starts it and then fuel saving main if both machines are working together and load is less so one machine will work if load will increase then second machine will take up also in power start and redundancy both machine will start working because they will give as a backup to redundancy here you can see in more detail this is one of the at this time its power management mode if you can see power unit 1 is the part of power management system mean at this time machine is working in two in mode so we will see how to change uh, if we will press this one this is setting for two in mode you can see here what setting for 80 volt here and if you will press this one unit will enter in split mode and individually will be operatable here it's changed to unit is in single mode now and you can see setting inside at which voltage at which frequency they are operating you can see here detail at this time it's 480 volt 60 hertz now i am changing to twin it's just like this one you no need to do anything it's already built and setting for synchronization everything you have to press just twin and it will start in synchronization mode that's known as power management also this is uh, to these two machines together have a capacity of 1100 kva and there are many benefit of this one if you will see it is one of the atlas cup brand if uh, you see here if there is only single machine of 11 kva and uh, these two machines together as giving 11 kva how it's beneficial single machine in case of shutdown you will lose all of your power for maintenance you have to do shutdown also it means there will be black out but for these cases you will do maintenance for one machine other machine will be ready to deliver power if you will do maintenance for other machine first machine will be ready to deliver power in case of any trouble any problem it will be in one machine so second machine will be ready to give you power it means you will get a reliable power and second case if you have a variable output demand means at some time your demand is 300 kva and sometime your demand is 700 kva so if your demand is 300 kva one machine will work and it will be fuel saving it will be good for engine health for long life also when your demand will increase to 700 kva both machine will want to de will deliver power together it means it's very good machine you can use in variety of the demand it very fuel saving and very good you can use it anywhere i hope it will be okay for you how it was easy to change even voltage for anything uh, for any range you can change the uh, change voltage 220 60 hertz 50 hertz just by clicking if you have any question here we will discuss no problem okay then bye